Being a student at any uh, university institution, of course, uh, involves a number of challenges of just a part, part and parcel of being a student and also requires some familiarity with, uh, with policies and resources that are available. So this video intends to, to introduce uh, any student in the Faculty of Divinity at Trinity College and the Toronto School of Theology what kind of basic information would be useful, at least to know about. I won't go into great detail today, but it gives you a sense of what uh, information and policies are out there and where you might uh, look, look for more information about different issues that it's possible you'll encounter during your time as a student in the Faculty of Divinity. First thing just simply to know is we uh, that uh, the Faculty of Divinity office is in the Larkin building at Trinity College um, on the third floor. This is at 15 Devonshire Place on, on the campus, just just north of the library building and just, just west of the old Trinity College building. And there you can generally find the Dean of Divinity, myself, or our faculty administrator, Sydney Young. There's the contact details. And normally uh, we're in the office nine to five, um, uh, Monday to Thursday. The office is often closed on Friday. And uh, feel free to reach out to either one of us for information, for questions about any of the information I'm sharing with you today or anything to do with your studies. There are a number of guides and manuals um, that contain the policies uh, I'm going to talk about. Um, the, in terms of academic policies, what are the degree requirements or the requirements for my certificate and so on, is uh, to be found on the TST Basic Degree Handbook. Um, so that can be, be found on the Toronto School of Theology webpage, but also links on the Trinity College webpage. If you go to our Trinity College study uh, link and then the study theology, there you can find uh, links to student services, information to degree programs, and all our Trinity course offerings or so individual course offerings. So uh, at some point in your study, it would be useful to have a look at the, the, the TST basic degree handbook, um, just to familiarize yourself with the particular degree program you're in and its requirements. And there's all kinds of things about uh, academic policies and uh, should any uh, complications arise in your program. The other thing to have a look at when you're visiting the Trinity College uh, Faculty of Divinity website is just to familiarize yourself with a number of policies uh, that uh, Trinity is, is, is signed on to as part of being in, in the University of Toronto. And these are policies there to, uh, to help protect us all. Um, to help make, make sure that uh, Trinity and the U of T are a safe place. So there's policies on student conduct, just a basic decorum, basic decency that we agree to attend, uh, offer to each other. Nothing complicated there, but um, useful to know it exists if you encounter unpleasant behavior on the part of others um, that can be uh, referred to uh, uh, to help uh, mediate any unpleasant situation you might find yourself in. Uh, certainly bring that to the Dean's attention should it arise. There's also a policy there on sexual violence and sexual harassment there to ensure that uh, uh, our staff have been well educated about how to avoid inappropriate conduct, but also providing a, an avenue for complaint or to raise concern should that be the case do please have a look at that policy uh, on, on a link through our website uh, when you have the chance. There's a smoke-free policy, so there's no smoking on uh, in, in buildings at Trinity College or even directly near entrances. Um, if, if you are a smoker, uh, have a look at that just so you know uh, what, what your options are in terms of smoking uh, during breaks and so on. And uh, prohibiting discrimination policy is something, of course, to make our, our community uh, inclusive and hospitable to all people. Uh, please note that uh, discrimination of any kind based on, on race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, and so on is simply uh, not permitted um, within the, the Trinity College. So uh, if you're unclear what that might mean, um, do have a look at that, 
that policy. Some important small details. Uh, just note that in, in the rhythm of a, a university year, um, there's always uh, uh, periods when the last day to add a course for the first semester, and that's the first Monday of uh, of the school year, or not first Monday, first Friday, pardon me. So in the first week of, of classes, uh, this would be the last day, time you can add a course that you're going to take that semester. Um, so be sure. Now, if you're beginning in in uh, January, that normally, instead of being the 17th of September, normally the last Friday, uh, the Friday of the first week of classes is, is, is around the 14th of January. So that, so be sure you've decided how many, what courses you want to at least try out by that date. Now, that's to add a course to your degree um, not, or your course selection. You have much more time to decide that actually you don't want to be in a course you've registered for. So uh, if you're you know trying to decide between two or three courses, well, you only have uh, until the you know the Friday of the first week of classes to decide whether you're going to try out that three. But ap after, if you've registered for three courses, you, you decide actually you only want to take two, either because you don't have time for three or um, one of the courses is proving not to be what you expected it was, you're not enjoying it, you're not finding it interesting, um, you can drop that course. It's uh, much later, um, you, you, as you can see, in the first semester this year, it was the 12th of November. Um, in the uh, coming year, uh, in ja the January uh, win or winter semester, it would be at the end of February. So we always have a reading week, a one week break um, from classes. It's either in uh, October or in uh, at the end of February every year, at, at each semester. So do check those dates, but know that after six weeks you get a break uh, for a week either to catch up or to just change uh, in your in the work you've been doing so far or get ahead in the work that is to come or simply to enjoy a change in your routine. Finally, when you register as a student at Trinity College, you'll be assigned a University of Toronto email address. It's very important that you monitor that email address regularly, even if it's not going to become your main address, because that's the way that Trinity and the U of T and Toronto School of Theology will communicate with you. They will send you, you know, updates or information, or if they need something for, for, from you because something's missing in your student record, this is how they will contact you. And it's your responsibility to check that email address. If you find that a bit of a nuisance, one thing you can do is go into your email account settings, your University of Toronto email account settings, and set it up to forward any emails to that address to your alternative email address, the one you prefer but do be sure that you check that email address regularly. This is, uh, we'll see, a rather common sense, but just remember at the beginning of every course, your, your instructor will provide you with a syllabus, and on that syllabus will be a description of the assignments that you need to complete in order to successfully uh, receive the credit for that course. And there will be deadlines for those assignments. These deadlines are real. Um, so that means if you do not submit uh, an assignment by the deadline, it's permissible for the instructor to give you a failing grade for that assignment. Now, normally they won't do that automatically. They'll be, you'll lose a certain amount of, the, of, of grades, percentage of your grade per day or that your uh, assignment is late. But do not presume that your instructor will simply uh, receive your assignment um, at a late date whenever you decide to turn it in. It's, these deadlines are real. Now you can ex request an extension from your instructor um, up to a week and it's up the, the instructor might do that. Sometimes they might re re you know re request you know for if it's for illness some kind of evidence or certificate from a doctor, note from a doctor. Um, but try to request those extensions in advance. Uh, usually, you know, uh, if you, you become ill, you know, the, the week 
that your assignment is due, you know you're not going to really be able to do the work, uh, be, be in touch or, or have a, a friend or a family member be in touch with the instructor for you. Um, your instructors do understand that, that life can get complicated, that uh, unexpected things happen or uh, unfortunate events happen. So don't, don't hesitate to be in touch with your instructor to, to negotiate a new, a new deadline. But your instructor doesn't know something like that's going on if you don't contact them. So that's why the, the deadlines are real. They can be changed, um, but they can't be changed if the you don't, you're not in touch with, with your instructor. Longer extensions beyond a week or so are certainly also possible. Uh, that requires, though, filling out a form, standing deferred form, um, or SDF, uh, which you can get from the Divinity Office or from our website, um, and uh, requires a few signatures. It's a bit more formal, but it can also give you a lot more time. While we're talking about assignments, most of you will know what plagiarism is, um, and most of you, this will never be a problem. But I highlight it just because on rare occasions, it does come up even in theological studies. This is when um, uh, a student uh, copies material from a book, from a website, um, something they found online, copies it, puts it in their own assignment without uh, acknowledging that they borrowed this material from somewhere else. Right. So, uh, so it's not that it's not borrowing ideas or even taking quotes from the writing of others, that's the problem. We all borrow from the work of others. We all benefit from, from the studies of others. We all stand on the shoulders of those who have come before us. So it's not uh, uh, drawing knowledge or drawing information from other people that's the problem. It's not giving them proper credit for the work they've done. So uh, it's when you draw from the work from others, if it's exactly their words, you put it in quotation marks, you provide a reference for where you took that quotation from, or if it's from their facts or the ideas that they've uh, provided you, you uh, don't, don't need quotation marks, but you still need that reference to saying, I'm, bar I'm, I'm drawing this idea from so-and-so, okay? Now, normally theological students um, are pretty aware of this and they've, they're, fam they're familiar with academic writing. And so this has become a convention. So it's only on rare occasions this is, happens in the study of theology, but when it often happens is when students get very stressed. They feel they get behind, um, life became, has become complicated. Uh, they're worried about not get, achieving the deadline that they committed to, or they've already got an extension and they don't want to ask for another extension. So they panic and take a shortcut by downloading something from, from the internet and putting it in a good chunk of it in, in their own paper. In those kind of diff difficult situations, please choose another strategy for dealing with the problem and the uncomfortable situation you're in. Ask for help. Be in touch with your with your instructor. Say, look, I'm in a bad situation here. Um, what are my options to, to address the problem I'm in? Um, sometimes that can be a, a very long extension. Sometimes other possibilities can come in order, but any of those options are better than being charged with plagiarism because the Trinity College and the University of Toronto treat plagiarism very seriously. It can result in expulsion from the program, or at the very least, from certainly being uh, uh, not uh, from a, an automatic fail for the course, um, and sometimes with mandatory withdrawal from the program. So please avoid this a, a tactic for getting through a course or an assignment at all costs. There are many other options. Explore those with the help of friends or the, certainly the course instructor. Uh, some students have uh, uh, conditions um, that uh, from their health or from the, their learning styles, disabilities that impact their learning. And uh, we certainly understand this, or your, the, our instructors understand this and the university understands this. So there's a service that you can draw upon as a student um, called Accessibility Services. And this uh, is a service that can help you uh, 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 clarify what uh, modifications to 
uh, assignments that need to be made so that you can ach um, achieve to the best of your ability um, the best results in your courses and some people so for example sometimes people have diff difficulty um, with vision um, and and receiving a a uh, an exam script that isn't you know written in a certain font size or in a certain color um, that can be arranged through accessibility services some people have uh, dys dys dyslexia or um, have difficulty and it need, need longer uh, periods of time to complete their assignments or um, can only write on a computer or and so on I'll, I won't uh, give you a full list but if you you think this might apply to you um, you can register with accessibility services they will either confirm a condition you've already been diagnosed with they can even help you diagnose conditions if you've been wrestling with learning and you're not sure why accessibility services might be able to figure out if you have some kind of learning disability now the good thing is if they if they agree or they confirm that you have this condition they will uh, help you uh, determine what changes to the way you're evaluated at the university um, are, are would be helpful to you and with your permission they will communicate any changes that are required to your course instructors um, now let me be clear about two things first they will only communicate you know that some modifications to to your assignments are in order with your permission they will ask you first and secondly they won't tell you your instructor why you need these special permissions so they won't they won't disclose your condition to the instructor just what changes to assessment are in order so know that this service guards your confidentiality they will only disclose to others information that you allow them to do so that's one important support that some students find very helpful in their studies. Some other supports include the following. I won't go into detail, but you can find more information on the Trinity College webpage. There's a writing center at Trinity College that you can access for help in English language writing, um, dealing with grammar, figuring out how to write better essays. Um, now, you're, sometimes your instructors are certainly open to having a one-on-one -on -one conversation about this, but if you require more formal or more regular support in improving your writing, you can try the Writing Center at Trinity. Uh, dealing with, with emotional stress or spiritual uh, confusion, um, there, are, uh, there are ways, uh, emotional supports to contact the college chaplain. Andrea Budgie is available to support you uh, the trinity health and wellness program is available to you and you can find more information about them again on the web website and trinity career planning it's a planning cert career planning uh, office at trinity college just to figure out um, what some vocational options for you might be um, what you can do with your degree following uh, your your studies um, just some of the services available to you at Trinity College. For financial support, um, of course, tuition and and uh, supporting yourself while you're studying can be very expensive. We do have bursaries available at Trinity College. Um, there, you can apply. There are three times a year you can apply. You only need to apply once, uh, and uh, the, these deadlines are in September, in January, and in May. Uh, we are generally uh, sometimes able to cover full tuition for domestic students. Um, it's a bit less if you're in, it, that's for Master of Divinity students. It's a, it's a bit less if you're in the MTS or certificate, but sometimes can get close to that. And uh, bursaries are awarded uh, per course that you take. So if you take three courses in, in an academic year, you would get a, a certain amount times three. To support that or if you take 10 courses you would get a certain amount times 10 so you can say that would just depend on how many courses you take if you're in the master of divinity program and you're doing the the site field placement the internship so the longer um, uh, apprenticeship in, in a congregation or social agency there are there's a special bursary for that that generally can help deal with uh, travel costs and so on if you find yourself in, a, in, a, in an unanticipated situation, 
uh, sometimes Trinity College is able to provide an emer emergency loan to help see you through a really bad situation. Um, uh, sometimes it can be an emergency bursary, but for, for larger amounts, or, or if uh, emergency bursaries aren't available, a, 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 a very low cost loan can sometimes be negotiated with the college. So don't hesitate to raise financial problems uh, with, with uh, uh, Sidney Young and the, the, the administrator or the Dean of Divinity should that arise and, and the college will do what it can to offer you some support. Other possible places to look for scholarships and bursaries uh, for Anglicans, the Anglican Foundation, particularly for the MDiv, but also for graduate studies is, is often conceivable. Check their, the website of the Anglican Foundation. The Toronto School of Theology has some scholarships and bursaries that can be applied for once a year. See the Toronto School of Theology website for more information. Number of churches, denominations, and so on have, have uh, some bursaries or even individual congregations. So if you're a member of a denomination or a church, check their website or ask the uh, priest or pastor there whether they know of any uh, bursary support available for theological students. And of course, there's always student loans here in Ontario, the Ontario Student Loan Program um, can be a, one way to, to uh, find the finances you need to navigate uh, your studies. For academic advice, uh, we in the uh, Faculty of Divinity, we have uh, uh, individuals who generally offer advice on specific programs for the Master of Divinity and the Certificate in Theological Studies is generally the Dean of Divinity, myself, in Orthodox Studies, so Eastern and Oriental Orthodox Studies, Jeffrey Reddy, for the Master of Theological Studies, Professor Donald Weeb, and for any of these programs, our, coll our college administrator uh, and faculty administrator, Sidney Young, is very knowledgeable and can answer uh, probably most of your questions you might have at this time. Okay, I hope that that's helpful to give you some sense of the supports and resources that are available to you as a student at Trinity College and the Faculty of Divinity, and uh, do not hesitate to call upon any of them or to ask us for further information. Good luck with your studies. Bye for now.